Today, we just rung bells for four minutes simultaneously across the country, marking each century commemorating the 400th year to the day when our first African ancestors were sent ashore onto this North American soil. Good afternoon, my name is Judy Forte, and I am the superintendent here at the Martin Luther King Jr. National Historical Park. One thing I like to say for me, this is a special day, because uh, being a Georgia boy, I'm born and raised from Georgia, it touches me to my heart, which is kind of, kind of quirking a little bit, because my family, we still have land that we own and we grew up on that was given to us by our previous slave owners that my family resides in. So when I come here and I see this day, it moves me a lot because I know what it took for us to overcome some of the things that we had to endure from generational curses. And I ask that you all, that you continue to push forward and not allow some of the social injustices that we suffer today, that you continue to lead and have the courage to lead, as Dr. King says, to not allow some of the things that's taking place today from the things taking place at the board, that we all look at people as human beings. My name is Cheryl Johnson, and I am a cultural historian. My people originally landed in Virginia, and were marched from Virginia to Georgia, to Pine Mountain, Georgia, with the Culpepper Brothers. This is not only a personal um, response for my ancestors, who I raise up and I acknowledge, but it's also a more um, unifying moment for our community to understand where we have come from and where we, the contributions we've made to this country. Um, the exhibit was very um, moving for me, um, seeing that, that light at the end of that tunnel, oh, hearing those words behind it, the door of no return. That was very powerful and very moving for me. It touched me and I heard, like when they said it, my daughter said, I never want to go there. So if you can take this little small step right now today and go and see the exhibit at the apex, then take your whole family. Don't just stop at the apex. Do the apex. Then walk Auburn Avenue. I think that people who didn't come who um, may only just have a basic knowledge of slavery, you know, through the school system, they will learn a lot. Um, they will learn about, you know, like they said, the branding tools that they used on us, the different devices that they used to control us, because they only want to tell part of the story. You know, they don't want to tell the, the really horrible things that, that we endured. Those that came, what I would like for them to do is just get an opportunity to learn more history, uh, more learn more about uh, the slave movement, learn more about what happened during that period of time. Um, some people are just so afraid to talk about uh, slavery and talk about that history, but I think that, like they said, if you don't know your history, you're destined to repeat it. 